Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to deploy the app that we created in the previous video. So if you remember in the previous video, we used Create Llama, which is a command line tool to build you know LLM applications faster with Llama index. You know, so Create Llama is a kind of a no-code tool that does all the heavy lifting for you so you do not have to write the code or you should not uh, uh, if you if you are not aware about uh, the generative ai in general you know and if you want to uh, build a faster prototype you can use create llama to you know implement rag uh, retrieval augmented generation task now we have built uh, that in our previous video the application i'll give the link in the description so you can go through that video as well now in that video the source data was a var data video assistant referee you know uh, which is like uh, has been used a technique has been used in different competitions across the globe like fifa for example and the uh, premier league which is a franchise based football league so in those kind of competitions uh, var has been used uh, to make decisions uh, in the middle of the game right so uh, we have used that as a source document and we built the web app okay which is powered by next.js now uh, the next.js app where we leveraged open ai gpt 3.5 turbo model to build that application using create llama now in this video we're gonna deploy the app on Vercel. okay so if you don't know what Vercel is it helps you deploy you know different kind of applications mainly the javascript savvy application and it's built for next uh, if you if you want to say like that okay I, it's next uh kind of it's very easy to deploy a next.js application on Vercel. you know it's kind of a drag and drop thingy that you can you know uh, deploy on uh Vercel. so on Vercel, i'll be deploying through a github okay uh so the next js application that we built it was completely uh backend was completely serverless okay, and it's simplest version to deploy you know uh and it only have one artifact to deploy okay on on Vercel. it's the home of next js you can call it like that now to deploy that you need a, a git repository and you can see i have pushed my folder i have, I have renamed the app from rag app to create llama rag app because it will be easier for uh, you to search on github as well if you are looking for something on create llama now here is my complete folder with a readme as well now in this folder uh, i have pushed it through uh, uh, github desktop you can see I have a GitHub desktop and I've created a current repository called Create Llama Rag App and I have pushed everything in the last 20 minutes. You can find it out over here. Now, if you go to history, you can find out everything which has been pushed over there. Now, uh, if you go to data, let's go inside data, you can find out the file that, that's going to act as a source document for you in that case. And it has all of the different index store, vector store, etc. that you need, you know, to uh, interact with the uh, app to retrieve information. Now, we're going to use this repository. You can push it through command line as well, through git cmd as well, and through github desktop as well, depend on how are you uh, going to push your repository. Now, here on Vercel, this is my dashboard. You can look at it says deploy your first project. Okay, and I am on a free account you know on Vercel and I'm gonna click on you know import project it says add a repo from your uh, git provider and that's what I'm gonna do in this case guys so uh, now let's do that so I just gonna click on import and once I click on import it says it's it automatically identify that this is based uh, built on next you can find it out over here and I'm just going to do import now once I do on import it says you are almost done you are basically gonna configure the uh, project and here is something that you have to uh, make some changes so we'll make some changes over here uh, not a lot of changes by the way but uh, i'll show what you have to uh, make some changes in okay let's see it so first is your project name i think let's it is fine uh, let's create llama rag app and then the framework preset which is next.js if you make a drop down you can find out different kind of frameworks libraries that you have and then you have the root directory let's keep it as it is and here you have something called environment variable that's where you have to make the changes guys because you want to keep your open ai api key right here over there now let me just do that okay so in uh or you can also click on for example 
okay it says paste a env above to populate the form you can also paste an env learn more about env now let's here put it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write open ai excuse me underscore api underscore key this is how you define your open ai underscore key and i already have the key with me okay, so i'll just gonna copy this key and of course i will delete this after the video so let me just uh, add here and once you click on add you will see your key has been you know uh, 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 listed over here you can once click click on that it will delete it and here is your key so this is what you have to set because we are using a closed source model and you have to set that open ai api key over there now once you just click on deploy that's what you have to do just hit the deploy button it will take a bit of time to you know uh, deploy you can see it it says building it has the deployment summary running checks and then it assigns some domains that you can you know uh, look at so it will take a bit of time uh, to do that so let me pause the video and I will come back once it gets done. All right, uh, so you can see uh, our app has been successfully deployed. Uh, it says, congratulations, you just deployed a new project to Vercel. So on Vercel, we have deployed it successfully. It says continue to dashboard. It also has that preview. Once you do a right click, you can open the app in a new uh, a tab here. It says it, you can see the your domain, which is create llama rag app dot dot app, and it's running on HTTPS. You can find it out over here, and you can of course make those changes. You can customize it. Of course, you can change the uh, in your uh, file where you have the file folder of components of different styling etc you can also remove this logo you can put your logo if you want and you can also remove this part get started by editing app page.tcx it's in typescript you can make the change. let's ask a question guys so i'm gonna ask what is var send message what is var and you will see the uh, speed as well okay so i have asked a question what is the var it says uh, you know, official blah 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 and you can see a streaming response, you know, a chat streaming response. It gives you a response. It says VAR stands for video assistant referee. It is a technology used in football matches to assist the referee in making decisions. This is fantastic, isn't it? Now let's ask one more question. Uh, uh, let me see, go to data, look at the PDF. There what question I can ask. Uh, for example, I want to ask a tough question. Let me ask this, who operates the equipment of the VAR then? I ask this question now, who operates the equipment for the VAR? It says the equipment for the VAR is operated by a replay operator. The RO sits with the VAR and assist in selecting and loading the footage for review. As VAR becomes more experienced, they may be able to self-select the footage and the RO uh, role is particularly important so you can see right we are getting a really good response we have deployed it so and you can also deploy it if you have an uh, if you choose to generate an express backend with next.js frontend instead you can also do that uh, you can deploy on render you know those kind of thing uh, both frontend and backend but it was on Vercel, uh, so we basically deploy it on uh, uh, like deploy it through a next.js application now you can use this link you can share you can share with your clients or you can share with your friends or professors if you're an academic project or whatever it's it's very easy right also you, you can see it's a 10 minutes video we deployed a, a, a create llama app on Vercel in free and that too we have created the app using a no code tool like create llama no, and here is a github repository i'll give the link of the github repository in description you can just use the same github repository after forking it and you can deploy it as well and so that's all uh, for this video guys if you like the video please hit the like icon if you like the content i'm creating and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel share the video and channel with your friends and to peer if you have any thoughts and feedbacks please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channel the credentials are available on youtube banner and channel about us thank you so much for watching see you in the next one